Robin Blackburn McBride here. I'm here to talk with you about something important today, and it's the topic of singing the song that you know deep down you came here to sing. So it's really about singing your song. And if you are somebody who knows deep down that you are at the moment not completely aligned with the track that you feel intuitively you're meant to be aligned with, if you're serving in ways that don't completely match the calling that you feel is yours, you know, that mission that has your name on it, then this is going to be an important video for you. I am somebody who spent years being just this much off track, <laughs> but that was significant. It was significant. And I've got to say that being off track did not mean that I wasn't doing good work in the world. I was doing very good work in the world, but still there was a part of me that knew there was something more, something different that I was called to do. And I'll tell you when you know in your bones that you are not quite on a fulfillment path, that can end up being a very draining and overwhelming experience. Um, very common symptoms of not being on track. Overwhelm, anxiety, uh, dullness of emotion, low-level depression, anger. Sometimes anger that comes out sideways in edginess, you know, uh, words that you say and, and later regret because it, it was a reaction, not a chosen response. Those are all signs of being off track. Now, one of the ways that I love serving people in the world these days is as a coach. And I'll tell you, I love, love, love that I am able to save people time in their transformation process. As I said a minute ago, it took me years to figure out how to move myself <laughs> into the correct alignment. Uh, I will say that toward the end of that process, when I reached out for coaching, that made a huge difference to me. It accelerated my process. And that is something that I love paying forward with the people who come in to work with me, with my clients. So right now, if this is resonating with you, uh, before I go any further, I have a couple of things to say. One, I am going to give you an action step that you can take in the next couple of weeks that will help in the journey to aligning with your purpose uh, and feeling like you're really honoring that song you came to sing. So I am going to be doing that. But first, I just want to say to you, if you're somebody who, you know, this is resonating with you, it feels like a synchronicity that you've happened upon this video, then send me a message. I have a certain number of available spots in a month um, not every month, mind you, but <laughs> there are times when I have spots available for people who I am not currently serving as coaching clients. And if you would like to speak with me for a few minutes about what you're navigating, I want to hear from you. So send me that private message. Okay, so I want to come back to uh, a, an action step, actually a series of action steps that are simple that you can take. And if you will do these things, this will help you. <clears throat> take out your planner. So wherever it is you make your appointments with yourself. And I want you to carve out four separate sections or sessions in the next couple of weeks. You can call them dates. You can call them appointments. In fact, four one-hour blocks where you're going to show up and do some very important sacred communication work with your own inner guidance system. Um, if you booked an appointment with a specialist doctor, you wouldn't back out of that appointment at the last minute. You wouldn't come up with an excuse for not seeing that person. Uh, same if you had an appointment for the dentist. Whatever appointment you book with others, notice that you're probably somebody who keeps your appointments. Make sure you keep your appointments with yourself. So unless it's an absolute emergency, nothing gets in the way of this. You've got your four times. I suggest once midweek, once on the weekend, once midweek, once the following weekend, 
and you bring your journal and you write these words, four words at the top of your journal page. What would I love? What would I love? And you really sit with that question and you allow your pen to move and the thoughts to flow through you freely and you do not tie it to current circumstances. This is a pure exploration phase. This is a discovery phase for you. What would I love? There's another question that you can ask and it's this one. If you knew that you only had one year to make things right and fulfill your mission here, and a year is really not a lot of time when you think about it. If you knew that that's what you had, what would you release from your life and what would you lean into and focus on? Those are very, very clarifying questions. And finally, as you're going through the next couple of weeks, be noticing when thoughts come in of who would benefit from you actually stepping into this new version of you and singing your song, playing full out, serving your dream, your mission, your calling. Okay, who would benefit? And just start to be aware of the number of people in your life who would actually benefit from you being fulfilled. One last thing, pay attention to your dreams that you're having at night. Often this is a wonderful way that our inner guidance speaks to us. You feel free to write in the comments if you have questions about this. And again, as I said before, if you're feeling the desire to speak with me personally, simply send me a personal message and we'll, we'll set up a quick call. So my mission statement is be who you are, love what you do. And on that note, until next time, be well, and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye for now.